And welcome back to another episode of the Kerbal Expedition Season 2! I'm just flying here, playing the Kerbal Space Room again. Let's get started. Alright, so today we are most definitely going to space with the Mar with the Aurora Mach 3. And most definitely, I mean, we're gonna try our hardest. So if we can't do it today, we'll do it next time. Whenever that will be. Probably after this, if I don't get- Actually, I don't have time to record another one of these, so this will have to be it. Whether this will be 30 minutes long or an hour, I do not know. We'll find out. But yeah, let's- Try to get rid of space this time. We were trying to do that last time, but I got distracted about trying about seeing this guy, this uh, by seeing the Aurora Mach 3's performance in atmosphere, which is outstanding. Uh, I I was it's not as good as the Aurora Mach 2 in atmosphere, but then again, you know this has rapier engines instead of uh, well it has two rapier engines instead of a single uh, uh what do they call the advanced jet engine in this game? You. The Ramjet, alright. Yeah, that's the Ramjet. Yeah, that's the Ramjet. Um, no, it is. And the Alpha and Beta was called differently, but yeah. Alright, yeah, that, uh, yeah, these have names now. They didn't usually, or they had names before, but they weren't, com this, this one wasn't the Ramjet, it was more like an events engine, well, this, it wasn't the, I think this was always the basic jet engine, but yeah. We got the right PR. Uh, alright, but this is the wrong Aurora uh, Mach 3. We want the Royal Mach 3 with two rockets. And then we'll still need to check it out and see how well this thing does with one engine, which I've been wanting to look at, I just never got around to, but... What is the, um... What is the part that allows me to go from a Mach 2 fuselage to a Mach 1 fuselage? Uh, I... I know, I, I used to know why it was, and I used it on the Royal Mach 2, but I don't know where it is now. So, sure. We're looking for a part to shrink, to shrink uh, our mark to sh Actually, you know what we could do is we could I go you and then go assembly still take over manufacturer resource module cross section profile maybe yes perfect and it's right here yeah this is it. It's a little bit different now, but it should work. Oh no! Wait, no, we want this one. We want this one. Uh, we'll we'll figure out what we want later once we need to shrink this down, which we don't quite need to do it quite yet because well, these two engines are just fine. They just use lots of it. They just use lots of rocket fuel. Well, slash just whatever you this play thing uses, which I don't know. I'm saying it's kerosene that you supplement with oxygen when you need to, but or it could just be some sort of rocket fuel like uh, you know, it could be a liquid rocket fuel that. You just burn with uh, that you just burn with normal intakes and then just use oxidizer when you're ready to switch it oh and speaking of switching we need to uh, get that off there we don't need that anymore we need to send by the uh, fraps uh, fraps frame rate we need to do we need to get this in action group we need to get the engines in action group one uh, switch mode there we go so that should be, uh, that should be number one there, and number one on the, uh, keys above the, or number one on the number keys. I think. It should work. Alright, well, let's take her into space. That's the last thing we need. Actually, let's save because of that. And let's go, and let's get moving. Into space we go, hopefully. If all else, if everything works perfectly. Which it might, because I think, I think these, uh... I think these rockets are powerful enough. It's just, you know, we just haven't put it into space yet. Yeah, as well. Uh getting, getting uh getting past the point of flipping over it's hard. Oh right, yeah, we uh yeah. Oh I guess we gotta make a decision. So let's head back. Cover vessel. Uh let's head back. And we'll We'll see what we want to do yet done. Uh, what do we want to do with Jebediah? What do we want to do with the Aurora Mach 2 over there? I'm thinking we should just leave it there. And just use it as a marker of showing we got that far. Uh, so we can see it when we get further. Yeah. Yeah, we almost made it around. Yeah, we made- oh wow, we made like halfway. No, we made it more than halfway. Halfway point would be, uh... I thought your point would be right there. We made it like a third of the way across. No, a uh, two thirds of the way across the Kerbin. I thought we only made it like a, a third. Wow. I mean, if this was Earth, and if we, and if our, and if the Aurora Mach 3 was, um, 
and it was beefed up, and it basically fit the Roma 3 was uh, times six size or times six fuel and times six uh, union power, and the atmosphere was no. Basically, if it was if it was matching Earth, uh, we, we would have technically been uh, we would have well, we'll probably land it in China or India. So yeah. I guess if we do one engine, that'd be that would work. We we should have enough fuel with one engine to make it across, or at least make it to the desert or the end of the desert to make it. If we had, if we only used one engine, we probably could make it there, but hopefully there, Kabbalas. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's go to this vehicle, and what we're going to do is we're going to just I can recover it, but I'm not going to. We're going to fly, and we're going to tell Jividai and Bob to bail out. And this will now be a monument to all Kabbalah, kind of letting them know what boss we are. Alright, uh, EVA, we can just recover them. And it, oh, we can actually add ladders to this one. I, yeah, we can actually add ladders. Huh. I will have to do that. Land. All right. Nope. Nope. Well, well. Back to the ship. Well, you know, we can just recover. A, we can just re um recover a vessel that is yep. Yeah, where that is Bob. Hopefully that didn't. Hopefully that didn't recover the spacecraft. And not the Kerbal. I hope that... Yeah, okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. I thought, yeah, I mean, it could be worded differently to make it less... Make it less uh, hard to think, but yeah. And if we ever, and if we ever want to uh, fly this thing again... I mean, like, we can, because we doubt we can't, because it has no fuel, but still. Alright, give it out. EVA as well. You're going to go on the same side, alright. Yeah, we could totally add a ladder there. We could totally add a ladder there and move, uh, that, and move this... And that up a little bit, oh, yeah, with these two up a little bit, so we can actually add a ladder, that'd be nice. And that little, um, add one of those, uh, like, hand handholds. Oh, the thing moved back and forth. Oh, okay, it's not quite, um, maybe because it, maybe because it's the cockpit's lighter now, so it's a little more back, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it was all, I'm pretty sure all Phil Wool's on the ground, but now it's just the one. I mean, now it's just the back three. Alright. There we go. Okay for you. I right, just need my pilot back. And speaking of pilots, is Durley decided to join us? Or is he still doing whatever he does? Well, you never know with Durley. What is this? Administration, okay. Durley, 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 Durley. Dealey Dan. No, not Dealey Dan. It's not Durley. He's closer to Durley, but not Durley. Okay, so they officially made Jibbit out of the pilot. Nice. Alright, but anyway, let's, uh... Uh... uh something with a good, uh... No. Oh, I don't know. Lady. Do we have ladies? By the way? Yeah, we do have ladies. Alright, yeah. Lena. Which, I think that's the, uh... I think that's the, uh... Like, the first female Kerbal. Uh... I own courage. All right. So you know what? This time, you know, we just recover Jebediah. Well, actually, we'll bring Jebediah as well. Guess why not? All right. The Euro Mach Three with rockets out. Yeah, I'm gonna do some more name changes. Make this the uh, basic version. All right. And Kerbals, we want uh, belt out. And we want the uh, lady. Eh, we need another engineer, yeah. Selena, Selena. Actually, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to do with, uh, we're going to go with Lena. Yeah, Selena. The, uh, the first female Kerbal. Alrighty. Now let's get into, now let's get her in space. Is, uh, is it saved and everything? Just wondering. Yeah, that's saved and everything. Alright, okay, we're good, we're good. Enough without delay, or enough delay, let's do this. We got so much time. And space, and, uh, you know, this game takes up so much time. Which is why in Season 2 of The Mall of Hunter, I did, like, hour-long episodes every single time. It's because it just... The game wanted to... The game wanted that, alright. Okay, the first female Kerbal in our first. Alright. Let's do this. 
She has stupidity like Jib, so she should be fine. I don't want, I don't want more courage, but hey. Alright, so if I press 1, what will happen? Oh, right click. Up close, I got her breathing. Alright, another one should do it as well. There we go, alright, good. Turn on uh, shift, turn on SAS, engine to full. Uh, map view, move this around. Oh, sure, yeah, maybe I should wait for daytime, but oh well. By wait for daytime, I mean to, to go into the uh, space. Go into the uh, space center over overlook and just hit speed. And just hit, hit the max speed. Alright, I think we're good. Um, Yeah, we're good, alright. And in three. Two, one, lift off. Into space we go with, with hope. With hopefully we will go into space. Hopefully. Uh, you know what we could always use? We could always put super booster. Uh, we could always put a uh, uh, solar rocket booster on the side as well if we need that much power. They'll put even more strain on. They'll put even more strain on the wings, so that'd be bad. Uh, I think I'm supposed to. Uh, I think I'm supposed to do gravity turn. Oh well. Uh, I think it's gonna grab the turn now. All right there. Down a little bit. Down a little bit. I want to initiate. I want to get into gravity turn so we, do, so we pull out. Uh, we pull out a good spider right there. Okay, we're good. All right. Uh, we pull out. We or we. So I can make a bigger. So I can make a bigger arch. Is why I want to do a gravity turn. So I don't just have to. So that I don't just go straight up and then have to burn sideways. Wasting uh, precious fuel in our dual engines. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, by the way, uh, I can't, uh, by the way, this is very old news by this point, but Cool Space Center is coming to the consoles. All of them. By all of them, I mean all the Generation 8, or the Generation 9 consoles, which are Xbox One, PS4, and Wii U. And I might be getting on Wii U, maybe. But we'll see. Why are we leaning to that direction? I mean, like, it really matters all that much, but why? I guess when I turned it, I was going over, yeah, I was moving it over to the side a little bit. Too much of a bad. I'm just turning the lights, so yeah, I have to do it manually. All right, because why not? Yeah, I forget the. I did forget the wheels. That's probably why. Yeah, I know I forgot something. I just didn't say. There we go. That should help. Uh, you know what? Nah, that was sloppy. Revert. Nah, uh, to launch. Yeah, that was sloppy. Uh, I mean, I only do this every couple of weeks, so yeah. All right, let's try this again. Alright, so that on, that fall the fall, that on, uh, map, change, uh, change so I can get a viewpoint, oh, turn this on as well, I forgot about that as well, and of course, gear up, of course, I can just tell the gear to be up in the hangar, but, man, I'm too lazy and more classic, alright, are we good this time, um, yes, yes, I say we good, alright, launch in 3, 2, 1, there you go, should help, thank you so much, you see how much we lurch off the start, as opposed to last time we were a little bit more sluggish, just because of the gear. Yeah, and also we did a gravity turn way too late, so let's try doing it better this time. Maybe 10,000. Do a gravity turn, uh, do a little bit more. There, that's fine. There we go, that should work. Oh, by the way, usually when you have a plane like thing, like a space shuttle, it's supposed to take off backwards, like uh, it's supposed to be flipped around. I don't do that because I I like it this way. I don't know why I like it this way, but I do like it this way. I mean, and the reason why you want to um, go back first because all the lift on your wings will be pushing you into your orbit, so you can maneuver a little bit better than doing this way where all the lift is pushing you out out way out, out of your out of your orbit, out of your arch, out of your trajectory. So yeah, that's why that's why you usually take off backwards, and I don't do it because I don't do it for some reason. You know, lights on because my.
I mean, probably the same reason why I have four wheels instead of the usual three. But then again, my craft are just so long and the wings are... No, we, we're not using delta wings, so having three wheels is kind of odd. I need to have four of my planes because, well, I just need to have four. And they just won't be balanced otherwise. Of course, I can just have gigantic the wheels on the wings and the little tail wheel and have it that way and it'll work. Or I could just have gigantic uh, wheels on the front and on the front and the wings. That will work as well. Or what I could do is have wheels on the tail and wheel and wheel, and a wheel on those. That will work as well. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to space. I don't think these are powerful enough. Yeah, these rockets do not appear to be powerful enough. We need more. Although, we might get into space because space is at 100. So, yeah. No, space is at 75. Alright, it's gonna be close. We need full power too, or else we're going to start falling. Hey, looks like Lena does not like uh, does not like having the full engines on. Of course, she would die. I love it because you know she would die. Oh, what happens if I turn off the lights? Okay, yeah, they have lights in the cockpit. Okay. I mean, I guess if we put a light like looking over the cockpit, they it will actually show up in the images. All right, how we doing? It's close, but no, it's not happening. We need bigger engines. I mean, we don't really need all that, because look at this. Um, yeah, we're, we're having to push down, but we could always use RT RCS. So, yeah, it's not all that bad. Okay, there goes our main engines. And we're not quite in space. Oh, no, these guys. Ah, these guys. Um... Nose down a bit. See yes. Okay, they should start getting out of here. There we go. Yeah, we're not in uh, space. We're not in space quite yet. Ah, uh, we gotta get the boosters on. And now, oh, but that jerk! Oh no. Oh, great. Oh, great. Well, that's my SAS trying to pull me up. You jerk. Yeah, it's in my way. I can't thrust. Can't thrust because of you. Oh, we're falling back now. And not quite yet. We got to get our boosters on now or else we're going to fall. Oh, and also one. <laughs> Just in case it didn't do it already. Yeah. Okay, now go. Okay, booster in three, two, one. There we go. Oh, oh, these things, now it's maneuverable. Oh, we gotta get moving up now. That's the thing about having boosters on your wings like that, is they are jerks. They are jerks. I mean, they, they used to be jerks like, oh, come on. I mean, this thing is very... Yeah, we're not going. Are we? Um... Yeah, let's head back to the hangar, because it's not working. And my, why is my plane at the weird angle like that? There we go. It's very touchy. We're running out of fuel too fast. It's in close cycle. Your engines are... No, they're not as efficient. That's why when you typically use rip your engines, you always use... um. Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, control. Yeah, that's we typically use rapiers. They're using rocket fuel tanks, not uh, not the um, plane fuel tanks. I want revert flight. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, um, when you use typically when people use rapier engines, they use rocket fuel tanks, not plane fuel tanks. That's that's the reason because you just aren't as efficient, and you go through fuel much faster than you would if you were using these. Which, speaking of, we're going to have to get bigger engines. Oh, come on. Alright, bigger engines. 
No. I'd figure, yes, but that's what we want. No. Let's try these guys. Alright. Now, what the problem with these guys are is they can't gimbal. So yeah, it's not gonna work as he. It's not gonna work as good as the. Um, it's not gonna work as you know. I won't be able to maneuver. I mean, I won't be able to turn as well as I would be th with the other ones. Basically, I'll just be using erection control and all the uh, and all the air surfaces and all the RCS to turn. I can't just use the engines to turn. Unless of course turn on the air appears, but that. But we're not gonna be doing that now, are we? Um, we're gonna wait till we're uh, we're gonna wait till the rockets are done. Then we'll use the rapiers. Alright, all more rockets, but I need more rockets, so let's do structural and look for it. Yeah, more of these. Bam. Alright, uh, how they arrange things now is kind of confusing for me, because I'm so used to the alpha version. It, you know, I'm so used to the alpha version, so yeah. Oh, what are these guys? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. How long do these things last? Yeah, two thousand. Oh, that's gonna last a long time. Well, mouse sensitivity. Should I can place this a little bit better? There we go. Now we're gonna place them all. Now let's try these guys out. We probably can space a whole lot better of these things. But hopefully, I'm not adding too much rust. Because if you add too many engines, well, you're gonna turn over. Especially if you're this tall. Good, I can't really tell. All the guys are a little watery right now, so it's very hard for me to see because of all the lens fires. And also, just having watery eyes is not good. Yeah, sometimes Adelaide and I get watery eyes nowadays. It's weird. I'm not, I'm not used to it still. I mean, it's been happening to me like for a couple of weeks, but yeah, it's weird. I mean, yeah, it happened to me like the last couple of days for whatever reason, and now it's back. Alright, we want parachutes. Which are. Oh, they're in utility, aren't they? No, they're in. Yes, they are. Okay, good. Got a lot of re, you know, a lot of um, reorganizing we have to do. All right, this looks interesting. We have rockets. Two. Two. There we go. Uh, you, 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 but not the engines. All right, you guys. Yeah. Oh, the new outlines are nice. On you down there. I wish it was an on mag drag instead of you having to click twice. That'd be nice. Or I would change that. And then you need to be in a separate thing. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but it'd be nice. I mean, it'd be a little quicker. You're not having to quick click twice. Or it'd be a, it'd be a little quicker not to be not to be able to have to quick quick click twice like you have to now. Alright, all of these are on the same thing, yeah. And then all these. 
That's but those are good. And then these, yeah, okay. Think we're good. Let's do this. Uh, are the engines? Ah, I'm gonna say they're all level. No, I'm gonna say they're all level. Yeah, they are. Alright, now two things can happen. Either this can work exceptionally well, or these things are gonna cause me to tip over. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, uh, you know what? Stretch would be nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be really nice. Rich light, light, space blank hangar. Don't know why I cannot talk tonight. Mix mixing words and stuff like that. I don't know. It's weird. It happens to me sometimes. Or a lot, actually. Not that I think about it, but yeah. Alright, I need struts, don't I? Yeah. Bam. That was a little too low. Oh great, now I can't pick it because it's inside of the rocket booster. Great, great, oh no. Uh, I guess these things, oh that's perfect. I don't know how to, I think, control Z? Yep, control Z. Yep, control Z. Yeah, did I control Z enough? Or did I control T too much? I only, did I control Z too much or enough? I don't know. I think we did just perfectly, but I gotta check my staging. There we go. Alright, so these engines are gonna be jerk because I can't delete the, uh, I can't delete the struts. If I misplace them. Yeah, I say I can't place them on the outside of these engines. That needs, that's something needs to be fixed. Actually, you know what? I can just Take them straight to these. Bam. I can always just delete the engine, but that's... Uh, why does that look like it's not the same height? Yeah, it's perfectly the same height, but no. It wants to look differently because of perspective and all that. Maybe we want to connect all the engines to that, actually. And then these are connected to each other. Okay, connecting them to each other is a good idea as well. We'll do that too. We just gotta be happy we'll replace the struts, I guess. Bam. Close enough. Uh, I will say that's good enough, but let's let's be uh, let's be uh, let's be even more careful and put struts in the bottom as well. Hopefully the wings are not going to be in the way. Those might be. Actually, I think they're good. Yeah, they're good. Barely they're good, but we're but that's good. All right. Uh, is that the right place? No, that's too high. And that's not even. Yeah, that's too high. Control Z. Wait for it. Yeah, that takes a while. There we go. And we got nothing to connect to, so we're good. I can connect these directly to the wing here. I hope the wings are be strong enough to hold this weight. Because remember, they're all they're all holding on to the one connect point. Alright, I think that'll be good enough for us. Hopefully. Alright, well, let's do this. Save, and yeah, hopefully they don't wobble. They shouldn't wobble now. They might, they might rip up the wings, either by their sheer weight or by their sheer thrust, we'll see. Wait a second, why aren't these... Ah, uh, oh, this is not good. Ah, uh, this is not good. You know why it's not good? I didn't have uh, I didn't have symmetry on. I forgot you had to turn on symmetry every time you leave the hangar. I think. Uh, I thought it's every time you had to reset the game. No, it's every time you leave the hangar. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. I mean, it doesn't really matter all that much, I guess. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, these they can not reconnect. Okay, let's hit Control Z. 
Well, that's time, unfortunately. I mean, we got time for one more launch. Ah, this is just ah. I should have checked. I I didn't I didn't think I would need to check, but I had to, but I did I did have to check. All right, well, I just gotta match these. It shouldn't take too long. And why did this reset? I don't remember it resetting the alpha stage in alpha days. I don't think it did. It just now restarts to reset. Ah, this is. I mean, it would be so difficult if um if the struts didn't go into the model. That'd be real. That'd be a whole lot better. But oh. But yeah. All right, I gotta match these. I can't do it because of symmetry on right. We're gonna match these. All right, we can do it like this. Oh, and it's like perfect. Matched. No, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about this. Um. Ah, uh, this is, uh, I should have checked. I, I thought it, I thought it was fine, because I don't remember Symmetry ever turning off on me, but I, apparently it does now. Oh, well, I guess it'd be a lot easier just to replace the rockets. Hey, it would be indeed be a lot easier just to replace the rockets. I mean, that's why you put them on, that's why I put all this stuff on the rockets. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, make sure Symmetry is on. Now grab the rockets. Wrong ones. Hey, turn on sensitivity. Um, you know, I'll be right back once I get all the rockets done, so I'll be right back. Alright, done. I just did it, and actually I actually had a couple more than what I had before. I had these, um, and then all these are all connected, same with up there, and then I, the top ones are also connected to that. Alright, and we're good? Uh, no, we're not, because I gotta move the engines. Uh, parachute seeds need to go. Uh, no, wait. Ah. I'm going to drag these. Yeah, okay, yeah, my, I think my chair's a little more forward than I'm used to, so it's kind of difficult to, and that's not what I wanted. A bit more difficult to uh, see the see my monitor when I'm clicking and dragging this stuff, so I use, was using TV, which is not good. Again, when I have watery eyes, late at night, it's not good. All right, let's see. And these go up here. Okay, those good and these okay we're good let's do this let's see how this works and we're going over time of course so yeah this is gonna be interesting i mean i got i got away with 56 minutes which i probably won't get away with again because i because we because the funny thing about windows moon maker is okay turn on position control turn on SES. uh throttle to full map view look over here and down here turn that on don't show why this is always off on Matthew. Because in what situation we have to turn it off? Also, gear up like I typically forget. Uh, we're good. And launch in three, two, one, launch. Oh, oh, right, right. Right, 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 right. Well, at least we know something can balance on its tail. I forgot what I did with, I forgot what I did with those things. Yeah, these go with the these go with the starter engines, right? For that. Okay, let's try that again. Um. Wait, when I get watery eyes, uh, basically everything gets a lens flare. Imagine a JG, I mentioned a JG Abrams film, but with your eyes, and you pretty much have like half of what it is like for me with watery eyes. And I get, and I, and I usually have a little watery. Oh, I usually. My wor my eyes are worried to begin with, so I always get those uh, lens flares off of everything. But you know, right now it's way worse. So yeah. All right, I guess launch in three, two, one. There we go. Oh, much better, much better. Oh, it shakes the screen because it's so much power. All right, the turning is gonna be difficult. Okay, go over a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Hopefully this thing doesn't flip when it gets to the sweet spot. Oh, we're hitting mock speeds with this bloody with these bloody things. Paris. 
I think these are a little overkill. Although they're working perfectly, but then again, we're supposed to get high out. We're supposed to get to. Uh, we're supposed to get into high altitude as fast as possible, so we can intercept some high altitude bombers. You're loving it. Lean on that. Lean on that so much. Oh my word. Thirty five already. Oh, <laughs> they're going so fast. They're triggering both rock effects and reentry effects. This is kind of hilarious. Yeah. Hey, wait for the separation in three, two, one, 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 and zero. Release the fuel. Release the tanks. All right. Okay, we're doing. Oh, cut, cut engines, cut engines. We're good. That worked wonderfully, and we even have fuel left over for um, maneuvering in orbit. Ah, uh, that works wonders. Uh, how are we get? Uh, this is, uh, okay, yeah, this works. Oh, we don't get in, I mean, we don't quite want to get in orbit, uh, we want to get in orbit just to see how well we can get into orbit. So, yeah. Alright, but, there you go, there we go, we, in, we can get into space now. And then some. Yeah, those things are awesome. And it did, and we didn't flip over when we, when we reached high altitude, it's nice. So, yes, how many episodes did it take for us to get into space with this thing? Three or four? But we got into space with this thing. Yes. I'm just liking it. Turn on our lights. We need to just put lights over the thing. We waste a fuel, but hey. I mean, we, did I leave the gear up again? Like it matters. <laughs> like it matters. Alright, now that... Well, we can still see if we can get or not, because we still got... We have so much fuel in these fuel tanks. And the rapiers. Well, the rapiers don't have that much fuel in orbit. I mean, don't have that much fuel in the vacuum, but still. Well, let's get our nose down. Turn on SES. Well, yeah, we did it. Took three or four episodes, but we did it. Yeah, I think those engines are too powerful for getting to high altitudes to intercept stuff, though. We might just need two. We, just need, we might just need four of them instead of... What? Eight? <laughs> uh, or we can just... You know, because we got, we got into an orbit. Or we got into a hundred meter uh, suborbital trajectory. So, yeah. And then right there, it's fine. Reset our CS to make sure. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, that, that we, I mean, one can say use that. If we want to get into high altitudes, we use the previous engines. Although we should... Oh, well, maybe we should just take off four of them and just use those two, because those things were good enough to get us that high up. With our gear down. Mind, mind you. Or mind you. Alright, and I guess... Throw up. Oh, these engines are still not powerful enough. Oh, and they push us down. Yeah, I, was, I figured that was going to happen. Oh, with RCS on too, this is not helping. Um, yeah, this is why you want... This is why you want the swiveling engines instead of these guys, because they can swivel. So you can actually maneuver and don't have to worry about your engines pushing you over like that, yeah. So yeah, we're going to go back to swivel engines because we really don't need these guys anymore. Now that we had the f uh, now that we had the big engines. Can't figure out what's a good place for them. I should have saved that, actually. Um, this is actually good enough. This, no, it's not. It's still pushing us. No, it should, it's still nosing us down. Yeah, we definitely need the um, solving engines, the medium-sized ones. So that's what we're going to do. All right, simulation success. All right, we still need to try and see if we want to have two engines or those. All right, so what we need to do is we need to take off these. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys watching uh, this video. Means a lot to me. Uh, also, me ask me to leave a comment in which I can to be interested in this series, like uh, I should build the Roma 3, or build its rockets at this point, because the Roma 3 works perfectly. Although we could change it, although we could change, um... And again, I forgot, why is that turning off? I, I swear, in the alpha and the early beta stages, the ones that I played, you didn't have the, um, this... When you left the hangar and came back, whether you're in the flight or you're looking at the base screen, those would, it would stick on symmetry. No, it doesn't. It's weird.
or maybe I'm just making this stuff up. I don't know. I had to, look, I had to watch my old videos for that. All right, but yeah, this is the Aurora Mach 3 with rockets. But yeah, the reason why we might not want to have this, not the reason why we might, want, might not want to have full eight uh, solid rockets is we might not be able to make is we might not be able to put it into a maneuver so we can get into a high altitude flight. However, if we do have the rockets, we can get into a high altitude flight and flight and just be a boosted. Um, or we can just dump them actually. Yeah, we know we can. They're still rocket boosters. We can just simply dump them when we still got fuel in them. So we'll see what happens. We'll we'll experiment it. Uh, we'll experiment with it next time. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys guys goes watching on this video. Not to me. I want to not to me to leave a comment. Thank you for thank you for thank you for thank you to me having interest in the series. Uh, I have said that, and I get. And if you have any tips on how to play cool space program, generally for no even if for no tips, too, it's coming to people that do no tip. And I guess see you all in a second.